much for joining us today. It's Ranger Katie, Environment Protector Extraordinaire. You're watching part two of a three-part video series to learn all about the importance of pollinators. Joining me today is Holly the Honeybee, who will teach us all about honeybees and even give us a tour around her home, the beehive. Yes, that's right, Ranger Katie. Are you guys ready? Okay, let's go. Here we are. This is my home. It is called a beehive. A way to address all of the bees that live here is to say a colony. Whoa, that is so cool. Can you tell us more? Of course. My home is managed by a beekeeper. The beekeeper provides us with a home and takes care of us. And in return, we make lots of honey that the beekeeper can harvest. The hive can be divided into different parts. This section is where most of the colony lives. This section is where all the honey that will help us survive through the winter is located. And this section is where all the excess honey that can be harvested by the beekeeper is stored. Amazing. Could you possibly show us what it looks like on the inside? Yep, follow me. Here is the entrance of the beehive. This is where everyone enters and exits. It can get pretty busy here during the day with hundreds of bees flying in and out. Holly, why are those bees flying in and out? Well, in the colony, each bee is given a specific task. The bees that are flying in and out are called foragers. All day, they fly in and out of the hive, collecting pollen and nectar from flowers and bringing it back to the hive. Now let's go further inside. I have so much more to show you guys. Here is the brood, AKA the baby bees. Every bee starts off as an egg. And then in a couple of days, those eggs hatch and develop into larvae. Healthy larvae are pearly white in color and are in a C shape, as you can see here. During this stage, the larvae are fed and taken care of by nurse bees. After a few days, the larvae cells are covered with a wax capping and become pupae. Under this wax capping, the pupae finish their development. When they are ready, they will chew through the wax capping and emerge as an adult bee. Oh, look over there, it's the queen bee. She is the mother of all bees in the hive, including me. Let's say hi. Hi, mommy. Hello there, Holly, who is this? Oh, these are my friends. I'm showing them all around our home so they can learn more about us. That is fantastic. I hope you all have fun and learn a lot. Hello, your majesty. Could you possibly tell us what your role is in the colony? I am the only queen in this hive. I am the mother to 60,000 bees that live here. My main role in the colony is to lay eggs. I can lay up to 2,000 eggs a day. I'm currently two years old, but some queens can live up to five years old. Thanks, mom. I still have more to show them, so we have to get going. Okay, bye. It was very nice meeting all of you. Now up here we have the honey stores. Here is what capped honey looks like. This is the honey that is harvested by the beekeeper. And here is uncapped honey. And over here are empty honeycomb cells. Us honeybees make honey by collecting nectar from flowers and placing it inside a honeycomb cell. Over a couple of days, us honeybees will fan the nectar with our wings. Over time, the water will slowly disappear from the nectar. When most of the water is gone from the nectar, we seal off that honeycomb cell with a white wax and it becomes honey. Well, I think I showed just about everything. Let's head back outside. Wow, Holly, that was such an amazing tour. We are so lucky that you were able to show us around. Of course, I had so much fun showing you guys around today. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you learned something new. See you again next time. Bye!